next up to try and beat them, it's Alex Furby from South End on Seba. Are you Alex? <laughs> Rings a bell. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. purpose the strike. Feels confident. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Southend, what a fine town That's that amazing, is. amazing, Brad. Are you from Southend or Sea? I am Born indeed. Born and bred. Born and bred. I love Southend. Do you know down the promenade, well, Westcliff down mm -hmm. there? It's beautiful. I used to take my son to Peter Pan land down yeah. there. Yeah. Honest to goodness, a nice walk up the bus. Fantastic pub on the oh, way to halfway out. I've got to say. Right. What do you do for a living, Alex? I'm a PhD student, Brad. In what? Chemistry. Wow, OK. Got any hobbies at all? Um, quizzing, naturally, but I'm also a season ticket holder at Southend. Home and away. Never missed a... Well, haven't missed a weekend game this season. OK. And if you win some money today, what are you going to do? Buy Southend? <laughs> yeah, be in the dream. Be in the dream. <laughs> yes. Right, here we go. Now, then, I'll ask you five multiple choice questions. Each correct answer is worth a grand. Uh, we'll keep going until you get one wrong. If you get the first one wrong, you're out. Got it? Yep. Simple as that. Are you ready? I am. OK, let's play. Here's your first question. The Christian Saint Erasmus was also known by what name? A, Elmo, B, Kermit, <laughs> C, Cookie Monster. <laughs> OK, answer, please. A, Elmo. Elmo, uh, see what it is. Is that the right answer? It is Elmo, indeed. Well, both thousand pounds. Anyone? Yeah, it's, there's a thing called St Elmo's Fire, which is a sort of lightning phenomenon. Oh. Uh, and there was a song in the mid-80s called St Elmo's Fire. It's a company, the film of the same name. And had a famous theme song that went... la da 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 £1,000, well played, Alex. Here's Thank your you. next question. Which of these words could be used to describe the Olympic Games? A, quadrennial, B, sexennial, or C, octennial? Yeah. Answer. A, quadrennial. Quadrennial, yeah. Every four years. Four. OK, cool. And it is well played. Two grand, very good. I've got to be honest, I find the Olympic Games a bit boring. Do you know what I mean? People just running about and chucking stuff. Oh, yeah. Now, the Winter Olympics, that's a different <laughs> ball game. They're running about and it's really slippy, mm. so it's funny. <laughs> Never mind all that gymnastics, flip, 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 flop, flip, flop, bosh. <laughs> now, do it on ice. Slip, 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 <laughs> crash, bong, whack. <laughs> that's what it's all about. And that was just Gemma Collins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two shake. Well played. Thank you. Two grand. Here's your next question. Which of these were rationed after the winter of 1946-47? stroke A, tomatoes. B, carrots. C, potatoes. Ooh, hello. Right. Get answer, please. B, carrots. Really? Did you think they was rationed carrots because people had used them as noses of snowmen? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the right answer? the wrong answer. All right, and the right answer is... It's potatoes. Oh, Beastie, go ahead. Before we start, get your sombrero out. You've got a bandit there. Paul knows all about this guy's quiz form. Oh, hello. You've got quiz form. Cinnamon? Well, I've met you, haven't I? Yeah, we've played a few times. Um... You've never won. I <laughs> 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 got the same score as you in the summer. We, we match scores. You got the same score as him in the summer? Yeah, I played in that what? as well. Oh, uh, the Quiz League of London. The Quiz League of London? Summer. Top division. Why didn't you tell me that when you come <laughs> down? I said to what you do, you when you're a PhD student, I do all that boring stuff. You yeah. didn't tell me you was in... What are you doing? You didn't think it was relevant. Oh, it's really relevant. <laughs> <that> you... <laughs> It's really relevant. I'm on your side. I'm your mate. You're supposed to tell me. What's the matter with you? Sorry. Pull yourself together. You give me nothing. <laughs> nothing. I'm sorry, Brandon. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> right. Dave, we've got a good match on. I'm looking forward to this. So, two questions right, Alex. Mm. That means you've got £2,000. It's now time to face the chasers. 
This is a quick fire head to head against the chasers. You get 60 seconds on your clock. Chasers get 60 seconds on their clock. However, the chasers will offer you a time advantage and money. If you want to take them on for the two grand you earned in the cash builder, you'll take on two chasers for that money, and those two chasers are. Here you are, the Vixen and the Dark Destroyer. Time offer, please. He must have some quiz chops. We've got to take this seriously. We certainly have. And we want 40 seconds. Okay. Now, clock. <laughs> oh, the crowd don't like that. Fuck a pen, though, isn't it? <laughs> OK. So, 40 seconds, that's a 20-second time advantage. However, if you want to take on three chasers, let's see what the money and the time offer is. Who's your third chaser to take on? <laughs> OK, it's the Beast. Beastie Boy, offers, please. We want 45 seconds on our clock, but £10,000. All right, 10 grand to take on three chasers. Yeah, see, the audience aren't happy with that yet. All right, if you wish to take on four chasers, though, let's see it offer. Who's the fourth chaser, please? <laughs> All right, it's Anne Hegarty, the governess. Uh, offers, please, Anne. We want 50 seconds on our clock, and we will offer you £25,000. 50 seconds, 25 grand. OK, if it's a full house of chasers, and the only person missing is, of course, the Cinnamon. Let's see what he's got to offer. OK, the Cinnamon, what have you got? Well, I'm not big-headed enough to assume that it's your ambition to beat me, but you're going to have to work hard if you are going to beat me today, Alex. And we want 55 seconds. Oh, wow, they really rate you. But the money's good. It's £75,000. <laughs> so how many chasers do you think you can beat, Alex? Bradley, I think I can beat five chasers. I'm only here once. You're only here the once. Here we go. You ready? I am ready. It's time to see if you can beat the chasers. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's see if your quizzing prowess can really stand the test. Shall we do that? Let's hope so, yeah. You ready? Thank you, yep. Here we go. Alex, your clock starts counting down now. What radio soap had its 10,000th episode? Archers. Correct. Chasers. The Thai V is a Welsh variety of what dairy food? Oh. Cheese. Correct. Alex, how many deadly sins are there? Seven. Correct. Chasers. Private Eye magazine was first published in what decade? Oh. 1960. Correct. Alex, what Australian soap is set in Summer Bay? Uh, home and Away. Correct. Chasers. What did Prohibition ban in the Ooh. US? Alcohol. Correct. Alex, the Leonine city is an area of what European capital? Athens. It's Rome. Brock and Misty are gym leaders in what media franchise? Pokemon. Correct. Chasers, what do you call a baby pig? Oh. Piglet. Correct. Alex, the US $500 bill features which assassinated president? Uh, uh, Lincoln. It's McKinley. And Emiratis are native of what collection of states? Uh, you have United Arab Emirates. Correct. Chasers, what gas makes the drink cherry aid fizzy? Oh. Coca-Cola. It's carbon dioxide. In 2014, what dating app made its first match Jenny. in Antarctica? Tinder. Correct. Alex, the film Last Christmas features song written by who? George Michael. Correct. Chasers. New Street Station is in what UK Jane, city? Birmingham. Correct. Alex, which singer was known as Der Bingle in Germany? Um, pass. Bing Crosby. What London cricket ground's first sponsor was Foster's, 1989? Lords. Oval. What panto features a genie and a magic lamp? Aladdin. Correct. Chasers. The name of what biblical king is Hebrew for beloved? Anne. David. Correct. Alex, what word can come after spring and chess? Peace. Board. What governing body runs world football? FIFA. Correct. Chasers, which famous dictionary writer lived in Goth Square, Jenny. London? Samuel Johnson. Correct. Alex, who wrote the score for the musical Oliver? Pass. Lionel Barr. <laughs> Time is up. <laughs> Great effort. Great effort. <laughs>